like many of us, have been through the heart-rending experience of seeing ill-treated animals. But only a few people take the initiative to make their lives better. In Hua Hin, Singaporean Lam Zi Chin took the first step in this direction, visiting the Wildlife Friends Foundation Thailand Rescue Center. This center also educates people to stop cruelty to animals. The area we're coming into now is a protected forest area, okay. in which we have a fence around and it stops any intruders coming in, it protects all the trees mm -hmm. and it's also allowed us to build some what is that? Nice large enclosure. This is a white handed gibbon. These are a native Thai animal, native through many South East Asian countries and are classified as an endangered species in the wild um, for many, many different reasons. Habitat loss is one of the biggest ones. Deforestation is huge throughout Asia, which I'm sure you notice. <laughs> First time you know, coming into a wildlife reserve area like this, and actually, if I could do my part and just help you know, raise awareness of uh, endangered animals or you know, or animals that have been you know, mistreated, stuff like that would be great. Yeah. I, I, I personally love animals, and uh, but I couldn't, you know, I didn't imagine that I would you know be able to see some monkeys and uh, and a tiger like that and, and elephants, you know, just all lying, you know, lying down helplessly and. And all these are all you know, non-profit and they're just, you know, the people here are just very friendly and they all volunteer themselves to come, tourists volunteer themselves to come here and help. Lam also got the opportunity to meet the hard-working volunteers who tirelessly prepare meals for the animals according to their dietary needs. He also enjoyed the experience of distributing food along with the volunteers. Our rescue centre is very close to uh, se several uh, great golf courses in Chamuain area and we really enjoy uh, people, golfers, to come over and have a look at our place, even to help out a little bit if they want to. At the rescue center, this touching wildlife experience introduced Lam to the importance of animal protection. And a strong field in Hua Hin introduced him to life on the Asian tour. Playing the event for the first time, Lam was up for the challenge of gaining his Asian tour card after a refreshing season end break. I had a good Christmas break didn't play much golf during that 10 days of uh, resting and after that I started to prep myself for this event. You know, I've been hitting the ball well, you know, resting well, fitness is up there and I'm just trying to treat it like, an, like another same golf tournament you know but obviously my goal here is to try to contend on Sunday afternoon and hopefully to win. One of the highlights of 2011 for Lam was competing in the Asian Amateur Championship in Singapore. He was keen to impress at home and use the advantage to win the title. But a tied 21st finish was all he could manage in the end. I think I shot two under four days, but I, I was practicing pretty hard and you know for the tournament three months before walking the golf course and doing all my preparations. And when I went when I started the tournament week, I felt a little bit of pre pressure as well. It's you know something on my home course, and uh, you know, just wanted to do very very well. Unfortunately, Lam failed to grab the ticket to the Masters that came in the form of Asian Amateur Champion. And this influenced his decision to turn pro at the Thailand Golf Championship in December last year. If I won Asian Amateur, then I'll get the Masters invite and then you know, I'll turn pro after that, you know, after April, but you know, <laughs> didn't win it then and uh, just decided to turn pro after you know, in December. The Asian Tour also presented a couple of opportunities to the Amateur Lamb in 2011. And he lived up to his potential with a creditable tied eight finish at the ISPS and a Singapore Classic. Playing well in those big professional events and uh, contending in the, eight, the Honda Singapore Classic was a huge confidence booster. And then playing Barclays, I missed the cut by one, but still, you know, I never felt that kind of pressure before. And then feeling that, and then I played the Thailand Golf Championship, which was my first professional event. And to finish a top you know, 27, I think it's a good result for me. And, you know, this result showed that I can compete at the highest level in Asia. Another Singaporean, Lam Chi Bing, has been the guiding light for his young compatriot. But Lam Ziching also gets advice about his game from the Thai golf star, Tong Chai Jai Di. Chi Bing, Tong Chai, all those guys to tell me, you know, just take, you know, take it day by day, shot by shot, and then just be patient, and that's the main thing. A successful amateur career behind him, Lam has now set his sights on winning on the Asian Tour. 
He also wants to do well consistently and achieve his goals for his first year as a pro. I look forward to playing well in golf, try to win an event or two, and uh, hopefully end of year, you know, keep obviously keep my card for next year as well, and try to break the top 30 in Asia by the end of the year. My um, ultimate goal is obviously to win an event, and um, but top 30 would be great as well, be nice. Born in the year of the snake, Lamb hopes the year of the dragon will bring loads of success and help in scaling new heights in his professional career. We wish him the very best.